I'm Drew Peterson. We're here in Whitefish, Montana, right outside of Glacier National Park. And this week we're road tripping down through Western Montana, starting up here by a Glacier, and we're going all the way down to outside of Yellowstone National Park in Cook City. I've heard Montana kind of commonly referred to as the last best place. But in a lot of ways, after skiing here, I think that Whitefish is kind of like the last best ski town. Just got to Whitefish, got a bit of snow last night, so we're headed up, going to meet Kyle Taylor, a local friend, and he's gonna show us around. I grew up skiing here, exploring the mountain and the trees here, and it's really fun to get to know this place and so show someone around and, and show you a good time. So it's been a pleasure to do that. Whitefish, golf course, and then you can see Blacktail Mountain out there in the distance. Whitefish is a small little ski town in the northwest corner of the state about 30 miles from Glacier National Park. 10 minutes from downtown Whitefish, you're at the ski area and, and the views of the valley and Glacier National Park are unmatched. We headed over to North Bowl Chute, skied a couple runs on the East Rim, then we went over to Flower Point and made some runs off of there. You can ski in 360 degrees off of Whitefish, which is kind of cool, it gives you a lot of options. Just get up there and point and go. He also took us down to show us kind of the classic spots to hit after a good day on the hill. We went to the Hell Roaring Saloon, which has definitely had the best nachos I've ever had. Nachos. Nachos it is. <laughs> Everybody in town stops at the Hell Roaring Bar. You're gonna run into the mayor of town, you're gonna run into, you know, pro skiers. Everybody's just having a good time. Uh, if you haven't been to Whitefish, we're having a great winter season, the snow's falling, and you have to come experience a great authentic mountain town that has real people and real culture. Whitefish is a great ski town with some amazing bars and restaurants. We grabbed dinner at the last chair and then got to check out the bar scene. We're going to run into characters like John Dunnigan. He's a kind of a one-man band show. I used to watch him play music when I was five and he's still doing it today. Just down the road from Whitefish, we went to Lakeside. Got to do some morning yoga at Wildflower Society. Lakeside is a fantastic community because not only do we have Blacktail Mountain Ski Area, we also have amenities such as Glacier Perks Coffee House, Tamarack Brewery, Wildflower Society Yoga, and a lot of great places to ski and stay. Outside of Lakeside is also Blacktail Mountain Ski Area, kind of a mom and pop ski area. It's pretty neat when you actually drive up to the mountain, the parking lot's at the top of the hill, which is kind of a cool feeling to the place. And you can actually see into Glacier Park on a clear day. Um, my favorite run on Blacktail is Lakeside because you can see the lake and you can see Glacier Park. You can grab a beer at Tamarack Brewing or maybe the Spinnaker and then uh, go check out Flathead Lake. After skiing here in the Glacier National Park area, we're hitting the road going down south to Maverick Mountain. 